What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we start, make sure to check out my second channel, link to that's in the description down below, that's Complex Edits. I make other types of videos over there, I've been reviewing all these albums I've been releasing. I currently have a Trip and Night review up there, I'm getting the We Love You Tycho one done now. I also might do a Donda one over there, so make sure to check that channel out. Also shout out to the Discord, big shout out to everyone that's a part of that, and shout out to the channel members. Thank you guys for supporting the channel through that way, but with all this being said, let's hop on into the video. Alright guys, now this is definitely a different type of video for me to make something like on Donda or Kanye, but I am going to branch out a little bit on this channel. I mainly do videos like this on the second channel, but I'm going to put a couple in maybe every week on the main channel like this as well, as well as Trippy and Juice videos and everything that I know you guys already like. I'm just going to try and throw a few other things in here as well and see what works and what doesn't. So with all this being said guys, we're going to be talking about how Donda was not supposed to be released yet. So if you guys don't know, over on iTunes, it actually showed that Donda was going to be releasing on September 3rd, minus all the extra times that they changed the release date and pushed it back. And I'm assuming the reason why it was going to be releasing on September 3rd is because that's when we were probably getting certified lover boy from Drake. And Kanye and Drake are obviously been kind of beefing or battling or whatever it is. I honestly think that beef is kind of fake just to help promote both albums. But regardless, Kanye posted this thing on his Instagram that basically clears all this up. He made a new post that said Universal put my album out without my approval and they blocked Jail 2 from being on the album. Now I think the Jail 2 theme has been fixed because that's the song with DaBaby's verse on it where he kind of raps about how he got cancelled and kind of gives a good response to it. Honestly I think it's a really good song and I have listened to all of Donda or basically all of it at this point and I'm not going to dive into my actual thoughts or opinions on the album in this video. Like I said I'll probably do a review on my second channel so if you guys want to see that make sure to check that channel out. But regardless, yeah, we were not supposed to be getting Donda yet, at least according to Kanye. Now, we all know how Kanye moves. I really like Kanye, don't get me wrong, but he is a little weird sometimes. But honestly, that's one of the things that I love about him. It just makes him dope and a really unique artist. I think if this album didn't drop when it did, which was, I guess, on Sunday, August 29th, I think it was going to release on September 3rd regardless, so I just think that the album got uploaded too early, and that's basically the issue we ran into with that. We're just going to have to wait and see, I guess, what Drake does, and I want to see who sells better, Drake or Kanye. Now, this did hurt Kanye's sales a little bit, probably not a lot, obviously, because he's still going to get the number one album this week. He's still going to sell really good. I'm expecting probably anywhere from 250 to 350k first week. Now, the only reason and I'm shooting for these numbers is because I don't really know what Drake or Kanye sells since they've taken away merch bundles and all that stuff obviously drake sold like over 100k with only three songs so drake is definitely going to be selling like four or 500k with his album and i'm just giving kanye the 250 to 350k because the album did release two days into the week so he missed out on two days worth of streams that he could have got but i still think that 350k would be a really good first week sale especially considering the album released two days later into the week when the sales started counting it's been really interesting to watch the rollout of Donda happen and everything that's been going on with it. And I'm honestly just glad that it's finally out. Even if it dropped now, I'm actually glad that it did. I would rather it just be out now and now we can listen to it and see the current vision that Kanye had for it. Now, Kanye still might add changes and stuff to it because he's definitely done stuff like that in the past. We're just going to have to wait and see what he really does with the project. But let me know what you guys think. Did you like Donda? Are you excited for Certified Lover Boy? Let me know everything in the comments down below. If you guys like videos like this, let me know as well. And yeah, that's going to be all for this video, guys. Make sure to check me out on Instagram at Complex Productions 999 and my Twitter at Complex Discuss. Link to everything's in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.